Hello and welcome to SG Speechless. Today's video has been another skin combo video and today's skin will be Jing. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video. And today's skin is going to be Jing, which is a June 2024 Fortnite crew pack skin. And this skin is part of the Operatic Vengeance set introduced in Chapter 5, Season 3. And similar to the most recent crew pack skins we've had, the more additional months you subscribe, the more styles you get. The standard style is Jing. For one additional month, is Operatic Legacy. Two months is Aur Auroric Legacy. Three months is Phase Legacy. Four months is Rimbound Legacy. And the finally, for five months, is Cosmic legacy for all combos i'm using a stand style and also hat on but if you do if you do prefer to use hat off or always for free to do so but i personally have the hat on for all the combos let's move on to the first combos back bling which is the arroyo pack park the custom set introduced in chapter 2 season 2's battle pass i'm using this back bling for the brown design as you see right here and style i'm using is default as well pickaxe is a leviathan axe which is part of the Oathbreaker set in Shoes in Chapter 2 Season 5, many use it for the brown and blue design. A very nice gaming legend series pickaxe and his Kratos. His pickaxe, which hasn't came back in a, over 1,200 days now. So hopefully he does come back soon. The glider I'm using for all combos is a Royale Dragon. In Shoes in Chapter 1 Season 3, this can be bought in the arm shop. I'm pretty sure it's like a 2,000 V-Buck glider, but I got it in a bundle, so I got it a bit cheaper. But it works very nicely just for the colour scheme. It goes very nicely with the skin. Contrail is the Firecracker Freefall. Park the Kabang set in Shoes in Chapter 2 Season 7. I'm pretty sure it's from the Battle Pass. It may not be. But it goes, works very nicely with the Dragon theme and also works very nicely with the skin. It's pretty cool as well. As you see, that like, basically the Firecracker is popping when you go, when you're like gliding down, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the first weapon wrap, which is this one right here, which is a fully brown themed weapon wrap, which is Rogue Archaeology. Park the Indiana Jones set in Shoes in Chapter 3 Season 3's Battle Pass. Here is the secret skin. Let's move on to combo number two. Now, the second combo, I thought I'd use the Bow Basket, part of the Bow Bros set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Many use it for the brown design as well. This back bling is pretty cool. It's so, the Bow Bros back bling. Pickaxe is the Yoda's Cane, part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. And it's a Star Wars series pickaxe. Many use it for brown design. We can also use Obi-Wan's Blade, the Gappy Stick, or even the Fusion Cutter. But I decided to stick with Yoda's Cane for this combo. Let's move on to the weapon wrap this combo now, which is an orange and brown themed weapon wrap, which is Cool Sign Wolf, part of the Air Royale set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. Let's move on to combo number 3 now for the Jing, for the Jing skin. For this one, I thought I'd use an orange back bling, which is a Gains, part of the Tuna Moon set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. And this is Diamond Hands, it's back bling, it's a bit of orange and the skin works very nicely. Pickaxe is Cold Snap, Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7, the Cold Snap works perfectly. It's got a bit of blue as well, light blue works nice. And also the actual lantern lights up as well, which is orange. I guess technically a little bit of blue and orange goes very nicely with this combo. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is a fully blue themed weapon wrap, which is polished stone. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass is animated. A little bit of light blue and dark blue as well goes very nicely with this combo. Let's move on to combo number 4. Now, for this one, I thought I'd go for a blue back bling and it's a blue set of wings, which is Shattered Wing. Part of the Broken Light set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. Works very nice to see here for the light blue design. Pickaxe is the Harley Hitter. Part of the Gotham City set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. This is Harley Quinn's pickaxe, also DC series. It's also a DC series pickaxe. Many using it for the brown design. Let's move on to the weapon right now for this combo. Which is this one right here, which is Icon series. Which is Goosebumps, part of the Travis Scott set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. I'm using it for the orange and blue design. Obviously, this weapon wrap hasn't came back since Chapter 2, Season 2. So, you don't have this. Use any other orange or blue themed weapon wrap would work nicely. But I thought I'd use a mixture of both the colours, orange and blue. I guess the black does work nicely as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 5. For this one, I thought I'd use a Kunai Shield, part of the Wise Warrior set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. This works absolutely perfectly for the brown and blue design. Pickaxe is a specialist pickaxe, part of the custom set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2's Battle Pass. And I'm using the brown camo, but you can also stick with default. I said get the brown camo, either the first two would work perfectly. Works nicely for the brown and black design. Let's move on to weapon wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is Gaming Legend Series, which is Mayhem, part of the Mayhem set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. And this is a Psycho Balance weapon wrap, or basically the Borderlands weapon wrap. Works very nicely. For like the actual cartoony design, I guess the yellowy brown design as well. Let's move on to the next combo. It's combo number six now. For this one, I thought I'd use a trophy sack, part of the Storm Scavenger set, 
in Shoes to Chapter 1, Season X's Back Pass. And I'm pretty sure this is one of X Lord's back rooms from that season. Using it because it's got brown, got a little bit orange as well, a lot of different colours, works very nicely with the skin. Pickaxe is a Reaper, in Shoes in Chapter 1, Season 1. This could be bought in the art shop, mainly using it for the brown design of actually the handle of the actual scythe itself. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now for this combo, which is this one right here, which is Witcher's Dawn, which is a gaming legend series wrap introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1's Bat Pass, part of the School of the Wolf set, and it's Geralt of Rivia's web wrap from that season, using it for the silver and orange design. As you see here, it's animated and reactive as well, which is pretty cool. Using it for the silver, orange, and black design, I should say. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number seven. For this one, I thought I'd use a backbone from chapter five, which is the Avatar Cycle, part of the Avatar set, introduced in chapter five, season two's Battle Pass. And was um, Korra's backbone from that season. Mainly using it for the orange and the blue. But the whole, all of the four different elements does work nicely with this skin. Pickaxe is the slasher. Part of the shape set. Introduced in chapter 4, season 4. And this is Michael Myers' pickaxe. Works very nicely. Which is basically for the brown and silver design of the actual knife itself. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now. Which is this one right here. Which is Skull Fire. Part of the Ghost Rider set. Introduced in chapter 2, season 4. Part of using it for the fiery theme for the orange and the black. We can also use Magma as well. Would work nicely. It's also animated also in Marvel series. Let's move on to the next combo now. Which is combo number 8. For this one, I thought I'd have a whole combo with crew pack items. The back blink is a fractured world. Part of the Galaxia set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4, and Galaxia was the first ever crew pack skin we got. This works perfectly because it's got blue and got orange as well. I do highly rate this back bling. Pickaxe is the Spirit Glitcher, part of the Eternal Eyes set. Introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. This is from the May crew pack. So obviously if you subscribe to the May crew pack, it was Spirit Hunter Seiko's pickaxe. I'm just using a stand style, mainly for the black and the blue. Let's move on to the breath and wrap now which is this one right here, which is a blue and black themed breath wrap, also Slurp series, which is Ripley, part of the Slurp Squad set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1's Battle Pass, and it was Ripley's breath wrap from that season, as you see here, has a bit of light blue and dark blue as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 9. For this one, I thought I'd go for a brown themed back bling once again, which is, which is Jones Field Pack, part of the Agent Jones set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6's Battle Pass, and I'm using the second style, Jones Field Pack Jump 15, but you can choose a stand style if you want to. Either those first two would work nicely. Pickaxe is a signpost pummeler, part of the Street Fighter set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. Game Legend Series Pickaxe, mainly use it for the brown design. Let's move on to the web wrap now for this combo. This is this one right here, which is Gaming Legend Series, which is Shield Weaver, part of the Horizon Zero Dawn set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6, is an animated and reactive web wrap. Many use it for the brown, white, and blue design. I really do rate this weapon wrap. It goes pretty nicely. At this stage, I was running out of weapon wraps to use with the skin, but it does work pretty nicely, in my opinion. Let's move on to the final combo for the Jing skin now. And for this one, I thought I'd use a TMNT back blink and pickaxe. The back blink is the Leo Sire, part of the TMNT set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. And it's the Leonardo's back blink. Pickaxe is the Mikey's Nunchucks, also part of the same set, TMNT. And this is Michelangelo's pickaxe. I thought I'd use a mix of both, because you can just use. Leo Sire and Leo's Katani if you want on Mikey's obviously backboard and also these pickaxe but I thought I'd use a mixture of both. And let's move on to the final weapon wrap now which is this one right here which is Heat part of the Diabolical set introduced in Chapter 1 Season 8. I'm using it for the black and orange design so that's all the Jing Jing skin combos done which is basically the June 2024 Fortnite crew pack skin. I was going to get it done at the start of the month but I had, I had a lot of other combos to get done. Obviously the, um, the employee came out and a lot of new skins came out as well so I thought I'd get it done now. So if you ever do have any other video suggestions that you'd like to see, for example skin, back brain pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contra, or weapon wrap or anything other thought that I've laid, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Always try my best to get it done as soon as I can. I, I unlocked the T60 power armor yesterday which is this one right here. To be honest, I haven't really been playing Fortnite too much. I, I think I came on last Tuesday. It was the last time I actually played Fortnite. I came on uh, here and there to get the save of dailies done, like V-Buck dailies, but I haven't actually been playing it. So I haven't really been enjoying it as much as I wanted to. Or I thought I would just because the vehicles were quite powerful. But I'll probably head on Tuesday, get some of the weekly summons to do come out tomorrow. Try to grind my way up to get a T60 power armor. But if you do have anything specific, say, it could be item shop, could be battle pass, for example, from this season, chapter 5, season 3, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But anyways... That, yeah, anyways, that was pretty decent.